Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! A ferry company with no ferries might be stranded in a port that isn't a port. Running new services from Ramsgate was the government's big idea to relieve the pressure on Dover in the event of a no-deal Brexit. But councillors there are meeting tonight to decide whether to make a series of budget cuts. If they go through, it might make all that impossible. Our business editor, Siobhan Kennedy, is at the Department of Transport. Siobhan. Fatima, you'll remember that Seaborn Freight was one of three companies that was quietly awarded a no-deal ferry contract on Christmas Eve to run emergency services, food and medicines from Europe to the UK in the event of a no-deal. Now, Seaborn's contract was immediately contra controversial because it turns out they were a ferry company with no ferries. And... Um, the pro and what the problem now is that there may be no port either, and that is because Thanet District, which runs the port of Ramsgate, is pushing through a budget this evening and simply cannot afford to keep the port, which is being mothballed, up and running. Can't afford to keep it operational. Now, they had hoped to sign a contract with Seaborn, um, to sign a contract to get the money flowing in. But as of this evening, that has not happened. And as we speak, the councillors are voting in Thanet to push those cuts through. And if they do, then the port within hours could soon be not operational. Well, this is all very embarrassing for the government, Siobhan. What are they saying? Well, it is. Chris Grayling has faced a lot of criticism over this Seaborn contract, not least from MPs who have highlighted revelations on this programme about the boss of Seaborn Freight, Ben Sharp, and his previous business dealings. Now, Chris Grayling has always stood by Seaborn and said simply that if the service is not up and running on time, then we won't pay them. That is not what he is saying tonight. There seems to be an admission that things are not going well. The language around this contract has become much more speculative. Listen to this. They are saying we continue to have conversations with a number of stakeholders, including Thanet Council, over any plans to re-establish ferry services at the port of Ramsgate. Now, that is hardly a statement that is brimming with confidence. And it does seem tonight that in the absence of a contract or ferries, and any minute now, perhaps a port as well, that this particular leg of Chris Grayling's emergency no-deal ferry services does seem very close to being dead in the water. Fatima. Extraordinary. Thanks, Siobhan.